Hello and welcome to Merle 83's hair shading tutorial. Um, the liner I'm using is by Wis um, not Wisteria, Wear Tigress. Um, they're free to color and stuff and use as long as you give her credit, which I am. There we go. Um, we're going to be using the same settings as in the first, the my uh, first shading tutorial. So a rather relatively large brush, um, something around 12 opacity for your paint brush, and you're going to need your layer style log up. Make a new layer for your shading, and color your, the part that you're going to be shading. paint bucket in the part you're going to be shading. There we go. We're going to be shading the hair. I just did that for contrast. There we go. Um, and for shading the hair, you're going to want a smaller brush than normal. Um, like say like a six or something, depending on your line art size. This is actually relatively good, a good canvas size. Um, and you're going to want to figure out where the flow of your hair goes. So when you pick your pieces out, you're just going to like, so if your lines end here, you're going to like extend your lines in shading. And I'll show you how, and you just keep doing that. You don't do everything. Just a little bit on each, or if you're like one, like a big piece that you think looks like it should have a lot and you want it to like taper off into the distance so like this one's a bit dark lighten that up with my eraser there we go <coughs> um there we go And like this one, you can make it really long, because it's farther up. Here we go. And when you come to like these, you're just going to want to put like a little shading on either one side or on both sides. You get darker as you come towards the middle, so you just not a lot, just a little bit. Like touch up here and there. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> From over there. And like if you have something like this. You don't want to clearly connect them there, and you can make this one longer since it's connected there. Like this too, that shows that your flow is a hair. And you can like add just a little bit of shading, not a lot, on your edges here. Can you see? Yeah, okay. Just wondering, cause I'm just blurring this up a bit. There we go. Just so it's not so hard. And if you put something too generously on there, just blur it up a bit, just a tiny bit. It'll look a lot better than you think. Here we go. And we'll add some more shading after you put in some of the highlights. 